Steve Bassett, why President Donald Trump could be about to announce that aliens exist. President Donald Trump could be on the brink of announcing to the world that intelligent aliens exist, and are here on Earth, according to a seasoned U.S. lobbyist. Steve Bassett has dedicated the past 20 years to campaigning for the U.S. government to end an alleged truth embargo that prevents anyone from revealing the truth about alien visitations of our planet which are allegedly hushed up by the authorities. Through the paradigm research group he set up to push for disclosure, Mr. Bassett became the only registered lobbyist in the states on the alien issue. Now, in an exclusive interview with Expressco UK, he has explained why he believes it could be around the corner. Mr. Bassett said a series of three events in the run-up to the election of President Donald Trump gave him the feeling that the White House was softening the public up for the world-changing news. Conspiracy theorists believe that the truth about alien visitations has been hidden from the world since the July 1947 alleged flying saucer crash at Roswell, New Mexico. It is alleged that alien corpses were found inside the craft, but it was all taken away to a top-secret military base amid fears of the impact the revelation would have on religion, and the rule of law if people knew that we were not alone. Mr. Bassett said the first event was around six months or so before the election. He said, Tom DeLonge, the singer from Blink-182, who has a keen interest in the subject, went on Coast to Coast Am Radio and said, the Pentagon has approached me and wants me to help get information out. He talked about being asked to produce a fiction book, non-fiction, and a documentary. He said, I have a 10-person advisory committee to help get me information. Mr. Bassett said, Mr. DeLonge claims were later proved true when emails between himself and Hillary Clinton's campaign manager John Podster, discussing the project, were leaked by Wikileaks during the election campaign. He said, The you had it. Proof the Pentagon had approached someone popular in the music industry to help get out information about UFOs. The second event which gives Mr. Bassett hope is said to have happened the day after Donald Trump's win. He said, I received an encrypted text from someone inside. It was not signed, but I kind of know who it is. It said, there are people inside the Department of Defense, who are willing to cooperate if someone reaches down to them, if the Secretary of Defense reaches down to them. He is convinced that Hillary Clinton hoped to be the president to announce aliens exist if she took office and this was an attempt by those loyal to her to get the news out before Mr. Trump took office. It did not happen but he branded the third event, two days before Mr. Trump took office in January, as remarkable. He said, the CIA announces that 13.5 million files about the CIA's history, psychic research, and UFO stuff was available to the world online that day. He saw it as a final attempt to get the news out before Mr. Trump's inauguration. Of course, that never happened, but he believes the series of events has made it inevitable for the embargo to be broken soon. But, despite campaigning for years for the truth to be out there, Mr. Bassett does not see Mr. Trump as the right president to lead a post-disclosure U.S. He released a press statement last month branding him too dangerous to handle the transition. In fact, he believes Mr. Trump will be impeached before disclosure happens, and his successor will make the announcement. It is not the first time Mr. Bassett has predicted his campaign was nearing an end. Last May, he told Expressco UK he believed President Barack Obama would break the news in 2016 before leaving office because of a growing media storm about aliens both in the US and UK. Asked by Express Go UK why that did not happen, he blamed it on mainstream TV media in the US. He said, there was enough momentum in the print and online media, and when the Wikileaks stuff broke, it just needed someone from a primetime TV news channel to take this on. But, not one question was asked about the subject during the presidential TV debates, and that is why it did not happen then.